Hello designers, welcome to brand new tutorial from designer tutorials. In today's video, I will show you how to create this neon effect in Adobe Photoshop and make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit bell icon to get notification. Let's get started. I will tell you the key to achieve this effect. This effect is all about drawing the perfect stroke. If you are good at pen tool, I am damn sure that you will get a very good result. After achieving this effect, we are going to animate it also saving it to GIF format. Okay, here I will disable the timeline section so that I will get a more space to work on. First we have to trace out this model. If you are not interested in watching the tracing part, in the description I have given the index. You can just go and skip this part. Choose the pen tool from the toolbar. Then change path to shape. Then fill to none. Choose a color to stroke. Then stroke 6 pixels. Then choose the rounded caps, then curved corners. Let's start drawing the strokes. To get a curved corners, just click and drag, you will get a curved corners. Also you get a two handles, later you can make adjustments on them. Before going to another stroke, we have to discontinue our old stroke, otherwise it will continue to draw. To discontinue our old stroke, just choose the another layer. It will automatically discontinue that path, then we can make another stroke. If you have done any mistake, just go to pen tool and choose add anchor point tool, then make adjustment. Once you finish all the adjustments, then again choose the pen tool and then draw all the strokes. Now we are done with the tracing part, here we can see that. Now I fill the background with white. Go to edit and fill and choose the background. Make sure that your background color is white, then hit OK. For each and every stroke, the separate layer has been created. So I will merge all the layers with new layer. Select all the layers, then hit Alt, Ctrl, Shift, E. Before merging the layers, don't forget to turn off the background, otherwise it will merge along with the background. Then hit Alt, Ctrl, Shift, E. Here you can see that the separate layer has been created. Then choose the stroke layers, then group them. Then select the background, go to shape tool, then choose round rectangle tool, then fill the color, then stroke to none, then draw a rectangle. Then turn off the rectangle layer. And here you can see that now we have to draw these lines. Go to pen tool and make fill to none. 
then choose the color to stroke then stroke a 6 pixel then start drawing the lines Now we are done with drawing the lines. Bring model layer to top. Then group the lines. Then name it. Then turn off the line layer. And here you can see that we have to add this black stroke. Go to pen tool. Choose stroke color to black. Then stroke 20 pixel. Then start drawing the strokes randomly. Now we are done with drawing the strokes. Bring down the rectangle layer, then enable it. Now I will make the rectangle even more darker. So select the rectangle and go to shape tool and change the color. Then enable the lines. Here we have to make some adjustments to fit the lines inside the rectangle. Okay, here we have a separate model layer. Double clicking on the blank space, we will get a box with the different layer styles. Before doing this, make a copy of model layer. Then disable the layer. Now double click on the blank space. Enable the color overlay. Then change color to white. and enable the outer glow then change the color to red then adjust the spread and the size until you get a better result here you can see the neon light effect then enable the drop shadow for time being Disable the outer glow. Then play with opacity and distance in the drop shadow. Now enable the outer glow. Then hit OK. Now enable the top model layer. To copy the layer styles, hold the alt and drag it to the top layer. Now all the layer styles has copied to new layer. Now double click on the blank space, then just disable the outer glow and color overlay. Then hit OK. Now it's time to animate the light effect. Go to windows, then enable the timeline. Here we have video timeline. To see the frame by frame timeline, just click here. It will switch it to frame by frame timeline. Now just select the layer and make a copy of that by clicking here. Now go to first model layer, then disable it. Then enable the second model layer with the effect of light. Now make a copy of that. Now hit a play button. Here you can see the animation. It's time to save animation to GIF format. 
go to file and export save for web here change the format to gif format then leave the settings as default then hit save then save the file here we have saved file here you can see the animation that's it guys i hope today you learned something new if you find this video helpful hit a like button drop a comment in comment box and share with your friends don't forget to subscribe and hit bell icon to get notification stay creative bye bye